Good afternoon, everyone. How's everyone doing? Hope you've all had a good weekend. It's been a little bit wet this weekend, but nevertheless, still lovely to be clean and living as a reformed person. Every day I wake up, I'm very, very grateful. But yeah, guys, hope everyone's had a good weekend. Um, I've been doing loads of the weekends. Uh, today, well, this morning, I went round to Wixie's and... Um, because one of my followers picked up something on my shed and I'm very grateful for it, Howard. Cheers, mate. Big shout out to Howard. I think he's up in Scotland. And um, he gave me, gave me the idea of... Um, well, he's been giving me ideas from, from the minute I've, I've started uploading videos and um, about my shed, which is really good. Um, and I took that on board. So, yeah, he said, why don't you put a gutter on, on a downpipe so you can... Um, like, uh, catch a bit of water into a water drum in the, in the winter. And I thought that was a right good idea. So, I went round to Wixie's, bought the uh, guttering, and I've been out all day today doing a bit of guttering. As you can see, the missus is behind. Um, she, we've got liver and bacon casserole on the go. And the reason why we're having a late dinner today... It's thunder. It, oh, it's, it's thunder. The reason why we're having a late dinner today, guys, is because Sam has been having her hair done uh, by one of our very good friends. She's... um. Had it all coloured, had it conditioned, uh, and had it all blow dried. It looks really, really nice, um, like a burgundy colour. But yeah, another time I'll show you that, guys. But I'm gonna spin the camera around and show you a gutter. What I've just Let's pull the blinds up. The shed just outside the window. Voila. So the gutter is up, nice little drop on it, Howard. And I'm going to put a, a downpipe on there and do what you said, put a drum at the bottom. So thank you very much indeed for that, um, Howard, mate. I really appreciate. Really appreciate that. Sorry, I can hear someone in the background. I bet this wallpaper is frazzling your eyes out a little bit in it. Sorry about that, guys. But I'm in, I'm in my bedroom now. But before I go, I just want to give my opinion, um, and this is only an opinion, so, um, and I think everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Everyone banging on about freedom of speech and freedom of this and things like that, so yeah, everyone's in entitled to a voice. And I'm going to give my opinion on uh, Ben Hatchett. So, first of all, I'd like to say, um, to actually get in that ring, it takes some doing. Now... It's not for everyone, and a lot of people talk a good fight. But when push comes to shove, and they, they're asked to get into that ring, they haven't got the minerals to do it. So I'll never, ever, ever disrespect anyone or look or you know look in any negative way towards anyone what steps upon that ring and, and decides to fight. Um, so yeah, he's knocked his, uh, he has done well, and he's knocked his, uh, his first few opponents out. And this opponent, which he had um, yesterday, I believe, was a real test um, because, you know, he's, 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 a, he's you know, a very good um, boxer. I don't really know too much about the, the opponent which Ben had, but um, I do know that he's been around the um, around the house a few times and he's a trained fighter. Um, and, yeah, that's what he does for a living. So, yeah, for Ben to get in the ring um, and have a go with him and give it everything he had, then I'll take me out off to him. And if anyone, anyone looks at Ben any other way, really, you're a bit of a dog, because would you go in that ring? I mean, it's different going in the ring with gloves on. Um, gloves do cut people, but they don't cut nowhere near as much as bare knuckles. So, um, you know, to get into that ring, not just to fight, but with bare knuckles, um, because as everyone knows, you know, bare knuckles on bones, breaks bones, splits bones, and um, causes a lot more injuries than gloves. I know that gloves can put you out, and you know you can you can have um, long term illnesses. But with you know what I'm saying to you with uh, bare knuckles, with them knuckles showing, mate. That you know every time you connect with someone, you know if you connect with someone in the face on the right place, you're splitting their their face open. So yeah, that's my opinion. And you know Ben actually. 
you know, he, he hasn't long been out of jail. He's, he's doing the right thing now. He's spun his life around and he's decided to have a go at boxing. So uh, fair play to him and good luck to him. And um, let's hope that um, this loss, which he's just, just had, um, will make him come back stronger, make him train harder, maybe um, get a new coach, you know, and go into it properly. It's, it's, now, it's now the time for Ben to decide whether he wants to carry on or quit and, you know, I believe that Ben will carry on and I believe he should carry on because uh, if he has a good training camp and he comes back in a few months' time, so like maybe six months' time after coming out of a good training camp, then it could be a totally different story altogether. But anyway, I'm going to leave that one there, guys. hope everyone has had a great, great weekend and um, I'll be up uploading more content later on. Peace.